Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at Beanstalk ROM for your Nexus 4 device. And as always, if you guys are actually interested in downloading and installing this ROM, click on the one link down below in the video description to go ahead and download and install it for your Nexus 4 device. Um, so here it is, and as you can see by default, you do have Apex Nova Launcher. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> just Apex Launcher, not Lo Nova Launcher, just Apex Launcher um, set by default. And you have a lot of options when you go into the installation process with a Roma installer. Um, but by default, you have an option for choosing Apex Launcher as your default launcher, as you can see by mine. Um, you also have this pretty cool quick uh, settings window pop-up type thing. Um, so if we're going to tap on settings. It actually opens a whole brand new app. So let's say I'm in messaging and I don't want to open it. Just go to my settings. I don't want to open a brand new app. Just tap on this and boom, I'm in there always. And I have to leave my current app on mine. Tap it away and boom, I'm back into messaging. Easy as one, two, three. And this also works with other ones. Calculator works fine. Um, as you can see, Wi-Fi works fine. Oh, actually not Wi-Fi because that's just a quick toggle. Uh, but uh, also I believe battery it does. Yes, it also works with batteries, so I think if you swipe it away, if you go and tap on that, okay, if you tap on that, it goes away, and you can go and do calculations, equals, or plus, there you go, equals, boom, you're done. Um, so that's a pretty darn neat feature, but if you're going to full screen settings, you have to go through this, not a big deal, but it's kind of, I wish there was an option to go into full screen if you want to. There could be, and I just don't know about it. Um, but another cool thing is that it's integrated launcher. So since I chose Apex Launcher, I have all the Apex Launcher settings within my settings app. So that's pretty cool how it's integrated within the settings application. Pretty darn neat, and you usually don't really see that. Um, you just have lock screen, dark, uh, dark stock, so you can go turn that on, and it's all dark now. I'll just leave it off for this video. You also have themes, systems. So we'll just go and take a look at lock screen. There's a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to go through everything. Um, so what I did, I changed lock screen text color to red. And I also enabled um, a lot of lock screen rotation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. You'll see a little bit of red down here. And I think the clock doesn't turn red and the lock screen doesn't, or the actual lock doesn't turn red as it's a widget. Um, so it's not real text in there. So it's not going to really, really work. And also rotation, like I said, boom, there's your rotation. So that's pretty darn nice. And another reason why I really do love this stand. <laughs> it's another useful feature. I really do like it. Um, so there you guys go. Let's go and take a look at that. Also in your uh, settings app, you also have other options too. So you also have uh, maximize widgets, so you can have full screen widgets, camera widget too. Um, so I'll just show you camera widget really quickly as I don't want to make this ROM review way too long as I know you guys like shorter videos. So there you go. And now it chooses which one you want, you want focal and camera. We'll go and talk about that in just a little bit of seconds uh, where the apps are included. Um, so you got that lock screen. Um, we're going to go and uh, skip themes as you guys probably know what it is. Uh, system right here. So you have the general UI, status bar, all that. So you also have, you know what your Pi control is and Halo, so we're not going to go into that too much. Um, but you have app sidebar, which is pretty cool, so I enabled it. And you can do a uh, sidebar, uh, sh uh, sort by, you know, alphabet, backwards, or uh, forwards. Um, so there you go. You got all your apps right here very easily, and you can access this throughout anywhere. So let's say I'm in my browser. Right there, I can go and swipe from the left to right. And boom, all my applications right here. I can go and see which one it is. Let's say I want to open up a calculator. I can just go tap on it and it opens it up where it was left off. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see, just by the way, I'm navigating throughout the whole ROM. Um, the animations are pretty cool. And you have an option to do that with the animations. So you can go ahead and change it. So it's pretty cool. Um, I like these animations. They make your phone feel a lot uh, refreshed and all that too. So if I go into, you know, calendar and all that. Then I go into, I can't really go into that, but I go and tap on that, tap on settings. As you can see, the animations are pretty darn cool, <laughs> at least in my opinion. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, and I'm crazy. <laughs> um, but let's go back into settings and uh, take a look at status bar. Um, as you can see, we can go ahead and change uh, battery style too. So I'm going to change a lot of these. Um, I'm just going to show you guys. I'm not really going to demonstrate all the options, as I know that would become way too tedious and just boring. Now if we go ahead and go into quick settings panel, I'll go and show you how I got that custom calculator app. Uh, we can go ahead and go into quick settings style or tiles and layout actually. And here is where you can go ahead and add a custom shortcut. So if we want to tap on add, um, you have all these options to add even more quick tiles. Or you can go ahead and tap on custom shortcut. Boom, you're done. Now go ahead and go into here, tap on long press and boom. And now you can go and select a lot of things. 
So if I go into applications, I can go and choose a camera if I'd like. So I can choose that camera. Boom, now I can go ahead and tap on this. And it actually opens in a brand new app over the current app I'm on. Currently I'm on the home screen. As you can see, it all works, fully functional. And I believe, I wonder if there's like a way you can get full screen, but I guess not. I guess yeah, you just have to open up manually. But as you can see, it's fully functional. Everything works too. You got Photospear and all that other great stuff too, which isn't working for some reason. Let's see if recording works. Okay, maybe you have to be in full screen for Photospear. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you, also, you also have a lot of apps. So you got Trickster Mod for all your kernels and modifications, more technical than anything. Um, and you also have Focal Camera. It kind of works well, kind of not. As you can see, it's laggy. As there, as you can see, it's a lot laggier compared to the other one. Uh, you also have, uh, I think it's uh, Pixspear. So that's a 360, same as Photospear, except for Focal. So you can see that. It works a lot better here, actually. So that's kind of weird. Um, but you got that too. You have those two applications. You have Apollo, Beanstalk Explorer for all your file management right there. Let's go back out of that. I guess not. All right. <laughs> um, you also have Halo features like I showed you. Uh, you got remotes. I think that's for Unity, I believe. I'm pretty sure. You also have uh, AirDroid uh, comes installed by default. Um, you also have Trickster Mod like I mentioned earlier. So you have a lot of these. Let's go ahead and rem remember Choice Forever. Allow that bad boy. And boom, now we're in. So you can go and set your CPU, see all the info of deep sleep. So it was 96% deep sleep. Yes, because this is not my daily driver. It is my Galaxy S4 as my daily driver. You can go and change all the colors and all that too. But if you guys enjoy this, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there. Only two clicks away to really make my day. So be sure to like this video if you guys did enjoy the video. Um, comments down below if you tried out this ROM and you have any experiences, problems, what's your favorite feature, all that in the comment section below. I really do love reading your comments, guys. I read 100% of them. And be sure to subscribe so you can see more ROM reviews for your Nexus 4, Galaxy S4, and so many other dev Android devices I do own. I make a lot of ROM reviews, product reviews, app reviews, so much stuff. So be sure to subscribe if you do like Android. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll link down below for the actual ROM, and I'll catch you later. Peace.